this video. We will look at the example on page uh, 11 of the chapter one, section three slides. So here's our example. Because the over 65 population will be growing more rapidly in the next few decades, healthcare spending is expected to increase significantly in the coming decades. The following table gives the projected US health expenditure in trillions of dollars from 2013 through 2018. A mathematical model giving the approximate US healthcare expenditures over the period in question is given by S of T equals 0.226T plus 2.854, where T is measured in years with T equals zero corresponding to 2013. Part A says sketch the graph of the function S and the given data set on the same set of axes. Now, rather than doing this in um, as a graph on my usual slides uh, using the notebook, I am going to do this using a website I like for this kind of stuff. I'm going to do this on Moodle, which is a really handy website. Not Moodle, sorry. Uh, Desmos. Desmos.com graphing calculator. And here we go. So Desmos is a great site for this. If you're asked to sketch a graph in, um, in your homework assignments, they'll give you the tools to do that. But if you don't have to sketch the graph, well then this is a good tool to use if you want to compare things like this. So I'm just going to take our graph S of T or Y equals 0.226T plus 2.854. OK. Um, and I want to look at this from zero. There, that, that's a good place to look at this. And now we're going to plug in the points. So I've got the point zero, 2.909. There we go. And we'll add the point one, 3.227. And two, 3.418. And then we've got, and you know, I can compress this down. I can make this, uh, I can make my x axis from zero. That's fine there. Uh, we'll only go through to like, um, let's say, I'm just going to go through to seven. I'm pretty sure that'll be fine. Close that now. All right, that looks better. So then for three, got 3.632. We got 0.4. Four three point eight five zero Finally, we've got point five four point oh eight zero. OK, so there's our graph. That is the graph of. Um, that is the graph of the equation we've got and the specific points, and I can even make this a little nicer by give us something better to look at by changing this to say five. Um, make that one say two. Not zero, we're just two. Okay. So there we go, we've got a nice graph to look at here. 
And we can see here that every single one of these points is a bit above the line. And that kind of doesn't bode well for this equation because it clearly hasn't used um, any of the points to calculate the um, to calculate the, the formula for this line, but we're not going to worry about that right now. All right, so assuming the trend continues, how much will US healthcare expenditures be in 2019? Well, for this, we want to go over to our, um, we want to go over and look at our slides. Or not our slides, but our notebook. So we've got our equation S of T equals 0 0.226T plus 2.854. And we're going to ask, so we did A on the previous page, uh, on the, on Desmos. A was just setting up that equation. I keep writing A, I want to write B. There we go. So for B, we're asked, how much will US healthcare expenditures be in 2019 when T is six? Okay, well, I'm not going to do this by hand. Why do this by hand when I have a calculator, right? I have 0.226 times six. Plus 2.854. That gives me 4.21. So we're looking at, based on this problem here, we're saying that the um, that this is the cost in trillions of dollars. So the expenditure in 2019 should have been 4.21 trillion dollars. Finally, for C, what is the projected rate of increase of U.S. healthcare expenditures over the period period in question? And that's the the rate of increase is just our slope. So the projected rate of increase So that's M equals 0 0.226, or it's increasing by two by um, 226 billion dollars per year. We could look up the accuracy of this by seeing what the expenditures were, what the rate of rate of increase was over that time period, but we don't need to do that here. Um, that information is all available on the internet if you go look for it, but you're not required to do that. If you're curious, go for it. If you have any questions about the problem, let me know.